Dimadome. We are here on Doug Dimadome, over the Dimsdale <laughs> Dimadome. Uh, we're here at Space 220. I can't wait. We were the last people they let in for the lounge. Well, someone just went around there. I don't know if that's gonna how that's gonna work, but we're here. We're gonna do the lounge. We're not doing the full dining experience. We're just gonna sit in the lounge now. It's good. We'll go from there. Try it out. Try it out. We're gonna try it out. Let's try it out. Twenty-three ninety-five. It's about to go down. Brace to twenty. So back at home editing the video, and then I realized that I never mentioned in the video that we were approached by a manager and they said that we were able to do the dining experience if we wanted to. And we chose to do it because like, we're not gonna do this that often. So we're like, we may as well just go for it and do the full experience. So that's why you'll see a shift from what we said we were gonna do to what actually happened in the video. So I just wanna explain that so people didn't think that the food that we were eating was the stuff available at the lounge and bar. Next time we go, we are gonna do the lounge and bar. Not because this food wasn't good, it was fantastic, I loved it. But just for something different. Finished at Space 220. I'm very impressed. The atmosphere, I think it's my new favorite Disney restaurant as far as the atmosphere goes. One time I was just like, wow, was Be Our Guest. First time I walked into Be Our Guest. I don't even think of Star Wars, I'm even wearing a Star Wars shirt now. But as, even as a Star Wars fan, I didn't feel that way about Docking Bay 7. Um, I didn't feel loud like that when it came to Docking Bay 7. The food there is, up until recently, hasn't been that great. The food here was fantastic. Um, I really, really liked it. I thought it was a smart move for them to do it this way and not like get kitschy astronaut food and like get weird. Just simple classic American food just done really, really well. The dessert was fantastic. Mine was a little too sweet, but I'm not really a sweets guy. So I usually take like a bite of ice cream and I'm, and I'm done. So I take that with a grain of salt from, from that. But everything else is fantastic. I had the salmon. I'll start off with the tartar and then the salmon. And then I finished with the sweet, what was it, what's it called? The sweet toffee. Sweet toffee something. The sticky like toffee really cake. Really yeah, it was really good. Which was a little warmer. Um, but Holly, what did you have? What did I, I started with the calamari and oh my God, I feel like the fried calamari. Yes. It's a lot. It was a lot. We shared it. Um, I came with a spicy marinara sauce, which was really not that spicy, um, and a roasted red pepper aioli, which you don't like red peppers and you love that aioli. Correct? I ate the peppers out of it. It was delicious. So good. And then I had the filet mignon, which was fantastic. It's kind of standard, nothing special. Um, and then I had the chocolate cheesecake, which most of it's still here. So. Yeah, it's a big dessert. They're all, it's all good food, man. I really, I really enjoyed it. I liked it better than I thought I was gonna like it. And the potato wedges, we added those yes. on the side. So good. Those good. are really, really good. But I just love the whole atmosphere. It's so calming. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but the music is really peaceful. It's just, it's a really good experience. I like it a lot. And I don't feel like it's that expensive. I know it's an eighty dollars prefix menu. The food you get, it's a lot of food. I don't feel like it's that bad for what you get. I mean. I thought it was a shared entree, so you each get your own entree. Or I'm sorry, it was a shared appetizer, but so you each get your own appetizer and your own dessert and your own entree. Not that bad. Two things. I wish that the 
I didn't record the pre-show because I just wanted to enjoy it myself. The pre-show film already looks 10 years old. They need to update that already. It looks terrible. It looks grainy. It reminds me of something you would see at like Disney Quest back in the day. It, looked, it just looked off and grainy. The, the, the window out here is really, really cool. You see the projections, but I have two complaints about this. And I don't even like to use the word complaint. The first one is Earth looks kind of grainy. It's hard to tell, but in person it looks kind of green. And the other complaint I have is if you're looking at, that's a hidden Mickey almost kind of, when you're looking at it and the stuff's supposed to be in the foreground, the stars are on top of it. So instead of it being a part of the screen, it's a projection on the screen. And it's, I'll show you what I mean next time I see it. But like the, the stars are on the, on the wall and the image goes over it. So that's a little, it takes you out of it a little bit. But other than that, I mean, it's really a cool restaurant. This is like my new favorite ambiance. I love it. And like I said it before, the music is so calming. The little things that I love, like the silverware being great. They don't rush you. They don't rush you. The silverware is great. The service is great. I mean, this, I took a picture of the, the spoon and fork and <laughs> they bring you out silver. This is a, something you should do at every restaurant. Where they bring you out different silverware at every course. Just great. The glasses are cool. I just, I love everything about it. Everything, it's heavy. It's not like cheap feeling, it's heavy. That kind of stuff means a lot to me when I'm going out. Like I like those kind of things. It's part of the experience. I think this is the closest you're ever gonna see to something being concept art and reality. I think they, they absolutely nailed it. I, I love it. I, I'm, I'm, I don't wanna seem obsessed with this place, but I really, really like it. I forgot to mention too, I was sitting here a little bit ago, and there was a kid floating around out here, and he had an X-Wing toy in his hand. And that just made me very happy. This was like a test for me to see if I could handle I'm claustrophobic. And I think I'm gonna be able to do the Galaxy's Edge Hotel now. I'm gonna I'm gonna force my way through it to make sure I can do it. <laughs> I'm gonna force myself to do it. As a test of my own will. But yeah, I'm, I'm I like it. What do you continue you eating your cheesecake? I'm not doing the Star Wars hotel. But I like this place a lot. <laughs> it was fantastic. Came with the intention of doing the lounge, but I'm glad we stayed for dinner. Me too. I don't need to come every month like I would go to be in Napoli every month. <laughs> but once in a while, this would be. I'd come back. There's also more windows than I thought there'd be. I thought there'd be like four of them, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eleven windows. It's bigger than I thought. I thought they'd like four or five windows, so it's really impressive how big this screen is. It's pretty, pretty wild. going up or going down, but when you were coming back down to Earth, I noticed they showed Test Track, and they had it going like you could see the cars on Test Track. That was so cool. That was awesome. <laughs> Again, needs to be a little more HD, but other than that, it's pretty freaking cool. I also wonder if they do it during the day, if it's like daytime. Oh, I, bet they do. I hope so, because that would be really cool. Yeah. 